Hey fools, Steve Heller here. I'm going to tell you today about Intel's recent acquisition into the LTE space and whether Qualcomm investors should start worrying. So an Intel spokesperson has recently confirmed Fierce Wireless's report that Intel quietly purchased Fujitsu Semiconductor Wireless Products Unit. And the aim here for Intel is to beef up its LTE expertise and this unit is highly regarded in that area. So the reason why this is so important is Intel has long lagged behind Qualcomm in, the wi in wireless and this acquisition should help improve Intel's competitiveness over the long term. The reason being, over, throughout the world there are over 40 bands of LTE and outside of Qualcomm very few companies can handle all of them in a single multi-mode solution. So Fujitsu happens to be one of those companies that's highly regarded that actually has the capabilities of integrating all 40 of these bands into one solution. So in theory, uh, this eventually should lead to Intel hopefully scoring some design wins from device makers looking to save on worldwide deployment costs. So they buy one solution and they could uh, deploy their product across the whole world. So investors here actually need to be reminded that Qualcomm is still, they still have a tremendous lead on integrating LTE into a mobile computing processor over the competition. Uh, the reason why this is so popular is because LTE and a processor merge into one component takes up less space on a motherboard. And since uh, smartphones have very small motherboards, obviously this is a very compelling uh, product for device makers. So it's not going to be until sometime in 2014 until Intel can make some progress with integration as ex-CEO Paul Ottolini told us on a, a conference call back in January. So the key takeaway here for investors is it's still likely a few years away until Intel really becomes a formidable competitor against Qualcomm and there's really no saying where Qualcomm's level of integration and what their technical technological expertise will be at that time considering the fact that they're going to continue to invest in R&D and continue to invest and advance their technology going forward. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Steve Heller and Fulong.